Hey everybody, Corey Don here with another episode of Winning the Weekly. This week is Pitch Black, where you get this neat near card back. And it is the week of July 25th, 2024. We got a couple more days on this by the time I'm uploading this. And this is going to be a drafting guide and what I think is the best cards to get for completing the challenge of reaching the third floor and even completing the entire uh, map and game mode. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and take a look at what we got, we got Bree, Reginald, Duels, and Maluka. Bree's mostly going to be support. Reginald's going to be blessed damage for what I choose, but you can also have a healer build, which I'm going to be showing as well. Duels is, I think the only thing you can do this week is sharp build, and Maluka can also go damage with dark or just healing with regen and stuff like that. Weekly modifiers this week are going to be Darkest Night, where dark charges are explode at the end of the turn. This does not take dark charges away, which means it can stack up and harm you really hard. It's going to help the enemies more than I think it's going to help you, especially if you're taking Corruptors. And then uh, Courage is really good, Group Courage, as is uh, Shielding, but since you can block the damage with block, but it's still really bad, so keep in mind that in mind. Especially if you take a challenge where you're fighting four Dark Blobs and the Dark Blobs are compounding the dark stacks you get on yourself. Alright, Vigorous Monsters where monster max HP is 25%. Smart Heroes is experience earned is plus 50%, which is amazing for you. Best Monsters is bad for you, monster speed plus one. Vulnerable Monsters is monsters are more vulnerable by 15%. Really good, combines well with Darkest Night. And then Ironclad Monsters, which is extremely bad for you, where monster damage taken is minus 3%. Very bad for someone like Thules, who has a lot of cheap damage cards, especially if you're going like a Poison build or on hit effect, so you're really gonna want sharp on tools. All right, let's go ahead and hit begin adventure. Swap the music up a bit, bring out the card list, and as always, down below, I'm going to be pasting the link to the list I have without my recommendations. Or you can always find them in the Discord. I usually post in the same day on Discord after I make the images. All right, first we got Bree. I think there's only really one build for her th this week. And that is going to be picking this first random pack, this first Warlord pack for Stockade, because it's an insane card that gives block, dealing with Vitality, and a lot of Thorns for dealing damage back to the enemy. And then we got this Commander pack with Battle Plan, Battle Shout, and Colossal Blow. And the most important thing I think in her build is going to be this Grinding Wheel. If you change it to, I believe the yellow version, it's going to be targeted, and so you'll be able to put a whole bunch of sharp on tools. There's also a purple grinding wheel you can get later by following the bottom path. I forget where it's at, but just know that it's there. And then Wrecking Ball is also really good because it is a dump all your energy for a massive AoE and it's good for clearing out hallway fights and just spending Breeze energy. It's really good with like battle plan and stacking that up. Next is going to be Reginald. Two builds here. Red is the more Damaging build, which is what I prefer because you can heal off of Sanctify stacks and just clear out enemies so you don't get their big bad attacks. You mostly want this Justicar after reroll for the Divine Insight purple. You get the Holy Storm as well with double the bless stack. It is really good for if you have plus bless, which I highly recommend. And searching for a cup item that gives plus plus stacks is insanely good on Reginald. And then we have Saint for the Dawnlight, Benediction, and Flash Heal, which isn't really needed that much in DPS, but it is good for the blue healing build. And as for the rest of the blue healing build, we have Friar. I'm picking this for the Anthem of Hope down here, because that is group-wide courage, which is very good against dark stacks. And also applies a little bit of Inspire, which is very good for everybody. It's not all heal spells, so Delay, Response, and Innervate are going to trouble you a little bit, but not too much. And even though it's not healing spells as well, I picked over here Sanctuary, because that's a lot of shield, which helps with the dark damage, since you can block the dark damage. It has some Bless, it has some Vitality for healing. You got Redemption, which takes away dark stacks if somebody's really like close to popping. And heal is great, and Omen Apparel is really good too. Omen Apparel is very underrated, I love that card. Next we're going to Thules, where I think his only thing is the blue route, but you can also pick this red card as your capstone card. It's better late game, but early game I think the blue version is a better pick. The big thing you want here is cards that put you in the stealth, like Sneaky Strike, 
And Sneak Peek is also pretty good because you're going to have a Corrupted Assassin's Tools. If you, on the second map, you go to the bottom left node, it's going to be a champion fight. Bottom left node of the shop that's in the middle. If you go down the left of that and fight that champion fight, you're going to get a Corrupted Assassin's Tools. And then you also got Scoundrel here for this hidden weapon, Sharpening Knife and Sawtooth Knife. I usually upgrade the Sharpening Knife to Disappear, and I upgrade the hidden weapons to draw two uh, cards per turn out of that. They can get two small weapons, so if you usually draw hidden weapons and not sharpening knife, you're going to have sharpening knife on the opener or hidden weapons to draw a sharpening knife on your opener, which is really great. Then we are going to go to Maluka. Her red is the damage build and blue is going to be support build. Both red and blue have this corrupted fortune telling, which is amazing. Own apparel, which is really good and Wine Blast, which is okay. You're not going to get much use out of the Omen Feral in a DPS build, but it is what it is. But you can also put uh, this Shaman in your DPS build because Healing Rain is really good for applying a bunch of darkness if you're using your Yang Ritual. And you'll be able to pull that out with the Omen Apparel. So Zealot and Shaman, I think, are about even for the DPS build. And then we're going to go down here for Heretic for the all monsters, apply darkness, and do a bit of shadow damage to them. And the Corrupted Vile Lance isn't bad either. I know a lot of people like Heretic for the Unholy Storm, but I think the other one's just better. And then for the healing build, we're going to go Devotee, Shaman, of course. I love Prescription, it can get you really good cards. And then Seer, of course, for the uh, Fortune Telling. Alright. Let's go ahead and close that out and do a sample draft of how I would build each character. Alright. We're gonna get rid of this, go back to the across the obelisk. And pick up the random pack, pick up the warlord pack, re-roll, and get this commander. And then we're gonna grab the stockade. And for Bree, I would pick fast because she is good with that. I believe Vitality is really good since she gets a perk for that. Powerful is good. I want to go with Thorns with her necessarily because I want to power up Google Sharp stacking a lot and since she's going to get the ability to get two grinding wheels and you're going to want to go for this yellow grinding wheel right here so you can buff up the wheels. Alright Reginald we're going to do the DPS build which is Crusader and Saint without rerolling and then rerolling for the Justicar and going for Divine Insight. Divine Powers aren't bad too if you want to play a support healing build but I like Divine Power. We're going to go Holy, Sanctify, Speed, and HP. If you're going for uh, more heal gold, I'll pick the Courage and Heal Done or Vitality over just the damage and healing or max HP. Alright, Duels. We are going to pick Rogue and Scoundrel to start it with. And then after reroll, pick up Ninja. And then we pick up the Phantom Nice. We go sharp, stealth, powerful because his uh, level three ability. Anytime you play melee attack, he's going to get more powerful. And then I'm gonna pick off up vulnerable as well because if we pick up deadly strikes, he is going to be doing that and applying vulnerable. You can also just pick up uh, speed, HP, or resist are all good too if you're planning on picking up hidden hand. All right. I'm actually going to pick up Shaman, Seer, and Heretic for her DPS build. And we're going to pick up Condemnation and go Region, Dark, Speed, and HP. Actually, Reginald, I think I want going a little... No. Reginald's fine where he is. I don't think I picked up Speed on my runs with Reginald because I wanted Maluka to go first. But, yeah, we'll just do it like this. And then for the items, we put the Hunting Ring on Bree, put the Stealth on Thules, put the Fishing Rod on Reginald, even though it's probably good on a person that picked Vitality, but that's fine. Don't put it on Bree because you want that Forest Banner up. And then we'll pick up the Agate Amulet on Luca, so she has a little more HP. And then I tend to go to this bottom path where you can uh, get the most nodes possible. And I believe I go up here. I don't know what these two shops contain. I've never done that. And we'll go do a sample fight quick. And actually, no. I actually go up this way and do these this, this extra fight. But I already chose this way, so we're going to go this way. 
I have given you wrong directions for my high score run. That is fine. Have your Lower is going on this guy, so this turn we are just going to Wrecking Ball and do full damage to everything. Battle plan would have probably been better to set it up for turn two. Alright, Thules is unfortunately going to have a bit of trouble because all his buffs are going to get stolen, so we will do as much damage as we can. We'll apply the Stealth and Powerful first. Start with an Ambush here, Sneaky Strike, Viper Strike, and then Shiv. And the, yeah, that's the uh, Ironclad Monsters coming in for you. Alright, a little bit of healing. Uh, we can look for the Holy... or Divine Insight's good too. We're gonna vanish those three. Gonna play uh, Dark Outbreak. Gonna give them a little bit of stuff. And we'll still have enough for Condemnation and a Bile Lance if we draw it. For things first, we're gonna Divine Insight into a Dawnlight on the dog. This lowers HP and hopefully it doesn't get Tabula Rasa, which it did. But it's just gonna howl and dispel everything, which is fine with me. Then weapons, we'll get the sharp out. We'll apply the sharp, and that sharpness allows us to deal damage, so whatever we want, we'll apply it there. Alright, Bree, she's likely gonna draw stockades, so we're gonna wanna play that. Even though it might get dispelled, it's a little bit of healing for everybody, and it's gonna cause that guy to do 20 damage to himself. And that guy did do 6. Alright, so we get Condemnation, we're gonna apply the Maldiction first. Condemnation, kill almost everything. We're gonna just spread it around a little bit. Alright, we should get a Holy Ripple here. Yeah, we did get a Holy Ripple. So we can kill this guy, maybe the sheep, and do damage to the farmer. Alright, Thul still has his stealth. So we sh or not stealth, but his uh, sharp. So we'll be able to do 11 damage with the knives. Throw poison dart for two, and throw that. I probably could have killed him if I stealth poison knife, but that's fine. Let me just invigorating blow to finish that off. And that is the start of the weekly. I hope it helps you out. I hope you have a good time doing it. And if you have any trouble, let me know, and I will try to help out your save or whatever it is you uh, do. Uh, these items aren't that great, but we can put the Holy Cross on Reginald and Shoulder Plate on Bree. And very minute on Ghouls and pass on the last item. And then we take this extra fight here if we wanted to, but this route up here has the same amount of fights if you go this way. I believe? Let me count that again. I might be counting very wrong. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, six fights. One, two, three, four, five. Never mind, this route might be better for the high score and might be able to take the high score. All right. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a good day. Remember to brush your teeth, take care of yourselves, all that. Goodbye.